Hey everybody, it's Comic Country 1014 coming at you with a uh, this is a it's a book that I got pressed um, by one of the YouTubers that I came across probably about two weeks ago. Yeah, I was uh, you know I, I guess one night I was thinking about having some books pressed, you know, and wasn't sure which books I should have pressed. Um, and you know, it was kind of it's kind of a coincidence, you know, when I was thinking about that 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 one night. Um, I was just talking to myself, you know, the next very next day I came across. Uh, Daryl's uh, YouTube video, you know, and he was uh, showing some of his before and after pics, and uh, he said, "Just yeah, just here's my email information. Please feel free to contact me if you have any questions." And I was like, "You gotta be kidding me!" Uh, you know, that's that's amazing because I was just thinking about that. So I reached out to him and we chatted, you know, via email and stuff, and I showed him some uh, pics of the what book I was thinking about, you know, having him press, and this was the book right here, Batman 608, the second printing by Jim Lee. Like I said, this is one of my babies right here. Cause being a big Batman fan, you know, it was uh, it was hard for me to get this one, you know, in my, in my possession, and I got it, not for too bad of a price, I think I, I said, I think I paid 45 bucks for it, plus shipping, um, or maybe, I can't remember, I can't remember what I said, 45 or 50 bucks, I can't remember, but uh, I thought that was uh, all right price, you know, the condition was, it wasn't the best condition, you know, but, uh, you know, I was just happy to have it, you know, my collection, you know, and, uh, but like I said, uh, when I was thinking about, uh, you know, the, having my books pressed, I, I noticed some waviness on the top. Uh, right there where Jim Lee and Scott Williams, uh, you know, names are. Right in between there was some waviness there. And I looked throughout the inside and there was a few other pages that had a little waviness to it. There were some spine ticks, you know, that were very prominent on the left side. Uh, color breaks, which I knew he wouldn't be able to, to fix. Uh, but I just went ahead and reached out to him and said, can you do anything with it? He goes, yeah, just send it to me. He goes, I'll be happy to help you out. And so uh, sure enough, I did. And <laughs> I mean, to, needless to say, man, he, he, did a, he did an amazing job. Thank you so much, Daryl. I appreciate it, brother. Uh, you know, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna send some more work to you, and hopefully this video will get the, your name out there even more. I wish I could have had the before and after pics, you know, I'll show you what you know what I was talking about as far as the waviness goes. But let me just tell you guys and gals, he did an amazing job. I mean, it's beautiful. Uh, I'm happy with what he did. I'm definitely gonna send him more work. Uh, so if you guys are looking for someone to press your books, it wasn't it wasn't bad, like ten dollars a book. The shipping was seven dollars, you know. Um, so yeah, it was. Uh, it came back, uh, you know, in a couple within a couple of days, and you know, nicely packaged and everything. And yeah, he took really good care of my book. It's, like I say, it was, just, it was as as if it was his own book, you know. So it was like his baby as well. And uh, I really want to say thank you for taking care of my baby and making sure he got back to me safe and sound. And and you know, for coming back to me as beautiful as it looks, man. I wish I can, wish I can show you guys, you know, what it looked like before. But you know, I, I cannot. Um, but anyway, I don't know if you guys can even see anything at all had some waviness you know right up there where Jim Lee and Scott Williams covered but now it's flat I mean it's flat man it's beautiful I mean like I said there's color breaks in there but there's nothing he can do about that you know he told me that and I, and I didn't I knew he wouldn't be able to do anything with that the spine ticks they're not as prominent as they used to be I don't know if you guys can even see that or not it's not focusing in for some reason focus yeah it's not focusing right now for some reason guys and gals but it's kind of dark in my my basement anyway so but believe me when i say he he did an amazing job i mean like i said i would recommend him to any of you guys and gals out there whoever looking for some to get some books pressed you know he's really great like i say he's very uh, you know he, he, he lets you know you know the progress and how much time he's got you know for he sends it back out to you and i also asked him about you know having it graded and he's like yeah because that's up to you brother you know if you want to do that i, I you know I, I i would say you know if you want to do that, i can do that for you he has he has, uh, he has a, I guess, connection with CGC and I think a couple of other uh, grading companies as well, you know, so he can go ahead and have your books rated too as well um, if, you, if you're up for that. But, uh, you know, I just uh, decided not to at this time, you know, because I didn't want to have the money. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, he was, like I said, he was very easy to work with. Uh, like I said, he, he uh, did an amazing job. And I just want to say thank you again, brother. You know, I got some more books coming your way. And his name is, uh, here's, his, here's his information right here, so if you guys don't know anything about him, um, it's Daryl's Comics Book Pressing. The information's right there. If you guys want to go ahead and just take it down right now, or you guys can watch this video over and over again, I said, feel free to reach out to him. Uh, like I said, he did an amazing job, you know. And like I said, I'm going to come back to him again. Uh, also, he uh, he gave me this um, this uh, this book as well too. Just as a freebie, it's Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Pink. <laughs> I wasn't going to expect number one. I wasn't even expecting that, man, but he went <laughs> above and beyond, you know. So thanks again, brother. Shit. Uh, well, anyways, just wanted to give him props and, you know, give him some promotion. You know, give him a shout-out, you know, and uh, say if you guys are interested, you know, give him a call, man. Give him a, well, give him, uh, you know, a shout. 
uh, reach out to him. Uh, he's a good guy. All right, uh, that was my uh, first press I ever had done. And like I said, it was a great experience. I'm definitely going to go back to him again for another some more presses. And I might get some books sent out to get great as well, too. Well, this is a Common Country 1014 uh, saying thank you again, Daryl, for the amazing job you did. And for those of you guys and gals who need some pressing done, reach out to them. Uh, so, all right, uh, this is Common Country uh, signing off, Tim. Um, <laughs> I hear you guys and gals. Cheers.